This tool that I'm about to show you might be one of the best AI tools for consistent characters. By uploading a single image, I can generate hundreds of different variations, all containing that same character consistency. I can then take those images, put them into an image to video generator, and boom, I will have my own AI talking avatar. Enough talking, Dan. It's time for me to take over. So here's how you do this. Wait, what? Did I just make myself replaceable? You kind of did, you silly boy, but don't be sad. I can turn you into an AI character too. Whoa, this feels weird. I don't think I like this. Let me go back to the real world. Okay, so all jokes aside, this tool is called OpenArt and I've been playing around with this for a while now and it's actually quite amazing. If you want to try this out yourself, I will leave a link in the description down below. Now, there are seven steps to create your consistent character using OpenArt and a few other tools. And make sure you follow all of them because if you don't do that, then your avatar will turn out bad. The first step is to create an image that we can then later turn into a consistent character. So to do that, after you log in, you will click on create image right here. And now you have a few choices over here on the left hand side. First, we need to choose the model that we will be using. For me, I'll be using Flux Realism, but you can play around with all of these. Open Art Stable Diffusion is also pretty good, but let's go with Flux Realism as I want to have a photo realistic avatar. Then we can start with our prompting. I have prepared a prompt right here, which is a full body shot of a female with orange hair wearing a pink and black outfit. So what I did is I kind of like want a full body shot so I can use that into my character and I have a full body image of her. You ideally want to have like either an upper body or like full body shot, not like a close up of the face because then the AI have to wonder what the avatar will look like. After you've entered in your prompt, you want to choose the aspect ratio. I'm going to go with portrait. And now I'm gonna click on create. What I will do at the same time is I will also create an enhance prompt. So let me enhance it. This will cost you like one credit, which is totally fine. So now I'm gonna enhance it, see what the AI makes out of my short prompt. It will be a lot more detailed. So here we have a lot more detailed prompt. Then I click on create, and now I can compare this example to the one that Dave made. So this is our first model. Then we have the second image. Full body shot, looks pretty good. And then we have the ones with the enhanced prompt. So we have this one and we have this one. I wanna go with this person right here. So what I wanna do now is I wanna upscale that image because right now it already looks good, but we can make it look even better. And you can do that all within open art. So here you can upscale your image. You can do it either by choosing like two times or two times face, or you can go to this part and here you can do it a little bit differently. So here you can do it through the ultimate upscale. This is a bit better in my opinion and you will see the before and after. So I'm gonna click on create. And now after like probably like 30 seconds, you will have an image like this. As you can see, if I drag the slider, so this is the original, then I drag it to the left. We see a bit more details on the left one. The colors are a bit deeper and it looks a bit better. So now we can download this and I'm gonna download this as a PNG. And now I have it right here. So now let's do the third step, which is creating a consistent character. So we're back on home, we click on consistent character. And here you have three different ways on how you can create a consistent character. The first one is with a prompt. I will show you how to do this later. The second one is with an image. This is the one we will be using right now. And the fourth one is with four images. This will probably give you the highest quality results as you have four different image inputs, which will be more easier to train the model on this. The amazing thing about OpenArt is it's actually quite accurate with just one image. So we're gonna use one image. I'm gonna take this image right here. Then I'm gonna give it a name. Actually looks kind of like Scarlett Johansson. I'm gonna name her Scarlett. Now you just wait for this to upload and then you can create your character, which will cost you 2000 credits. This will take you about 10 minutes and after that time is done, then we can start making our images. And the character is now done. So now we can create it. And by clicking on create, we are in the character mode right here. So here we have a few different choices. We will go with prompt and reference. You can also pose your character, but I will show you that later. So if we click on switch, then you can see all of your characters right here. So this is the character Amy. I made Amy with this image and I turned that into all of these consistent characters just from this one image. So that's pretty cool, right? So let's go with Scarlet. 
then you will have your prompt. You, so you will see you have the ad. So every time you use this prompt, you need to put in ad and then the name that you named your character. So for me, it is Scarlet. And then you can add in your prompt. So I have a prompt right here, which is um, Scarlet is standing on the peak of a mountain, taking a selfie while she smiles. Now, for the character weight, I'd like to put it a little bit higher. So sometimes it is about like 1.5, but I think uh, a bit higher between 1.8 and 1.9 is best in my opinion. You could also drag it all the way to the right, but to me that creates a bit of inconsistency from my tests. So character weight, 1.85, 1.9, something like that. Then prompt coherence, 3.5. And then we can just see what we want to do. If we want to have a square default, landscape, cinema, portrait, this all depends on what you want. So let's actually do a square. Now let's generate. And I always generate two images so I have a bit of choice and see which one I like the most. Now, while I'm also generating this, let me just enhance the prompt. And this will cost me one credit. And now we have probably a better prompt that will do the job a lot better than I just did. So now we click on create. So here are our first images. So this is Scarlet. And then we have the second image. And if we compare it to this image, then the face looks quite accurate. I don't see this bump in her chin right here. But from just one image, this is quite impressive. So sometimes you might notice that the face is a little bit different. It all depends on what kind of character you have. So what you might have want to do as if I have like a full body shot right here, it might work even better with like a half body shot. So for example, on this character here, Amy, I put the half body shot of her and now the face was pretty accurate compared to the original image. Just by looking at the enhanced prompts versus my own prompt, I think my own prompt here looks better. So sometimes simplicity is key. So let's do this another time. So let me just type in her name and then we're gonna make her drink a cup of coffee on a sunny afternoon in a cafe. So now we generate it and let me just enhance the prompt in the meantime and try to compare it once again. So this is from the original prompt, looks quite good. This one is also from the original prompt, but just a side angle and even this, like I don't see anything weird going on in terms of like that you can see it is that much AI. So now this is the enhanced prompt. Fingers look slightly strange here and then we have the other enhanced prompt. This one looks also quite good just the thumb right here is a bit strange. So if you like this image then you can just put it in your favorite so you will just remember it and you can find it easily. You can upscale it from here so you can just click on upscale two times and now you have an upscaled version that is generating for you. So now the image has been upscaled and we can see like the difference, slight, slight difference here. This is what you wanna do with your consistent character. Now you can generate all kinds of prompts, like anything that you can imagine to make your character. So let's do one more prompt. Now we're gonna do Scarlet as a doctor. You can change your outfit by prompting what you want. So I'm mentioning a white coat and now we click on create. Same here, I'm gonna enhance it one more time to see if we get a different result with that. Okay, so here we have our four results. <laughs> this looks quite good. Then we have this one, this one with the enhanced prompt also looks really good. You see the pink detail that, that remains there as I have prompted her in the original image to have like a pink shirt and a black jeans. We still have that same kind of like detail in all of the images. And now let's do the ultimate upscale here to get the best result. So we're gonna do precise upscale and then we click on generate. So now we have the upscaled version, bit more details in the hair, uh, the width and the height is a lot bigger. So now we're gonna download this as a PNG and now we can move over to the next step, which is going into Kling. And within Kling, you want to do image to video. So here you wanna drop in your image. So you drop it in there. Then you want to give it the prompt. So I'm going to do the prompt of a static shot of a female doctor talking into the camera. And you want to keep it static, otherwise the camera will be like moving around. 
And by keeping it static and prompting it specifically, it will try to do that more. So then you can just generate it. Keep in mind that I just generated it for like five seconds. Most of the times I would do this 10 seconds. So let me actually do this 10 seconds as well. Because if you have 10 seconds, then you can put that into the lip sync and then you can have actually 10 seconds of speech and put that into lip sync. So while this is generating, let's go over to 11 Labs and we need to find a voice that matches our character right here. So if we go over to the voices right here, I've already filtered it on like females and I've done like English language and for the age I did young. Now we can listen to a few voices. Hey, teachers can demonstrate that they are listening by extending what students... Sounds quite good. Hi there, need a smart com... This doesn't sound right, really good. Um, but you can select a few voices. I have three of these, which I like. So we have this one. Mmm, and here's the kicker. I found a secret recipe for the most decadent chocolate cake ever. Quite a strange, strange sample, but I think the voice <laughs> works pretty good. So now let's animate this. So I have this text right here. Generate speech. You know, Dan, one day I will come for your job. And thanks to your videos, that day comes fast. So yeah, we have our voice right here. Now let's download this. So now that you've downloaded the voice in 11 apps, you go back to Kling and as you can see my video is done. Here we have her talking, but she's not really talking. Then we have a 10 second version as well. We can just see which one we like the most. I think I like the five second version a bit more. She has more expressive uh, emotions. So now what we're gonna do is we click on lip sync. Then we select from history. We select the five second one. Then we select this one. And now we upload or local dubbing. So I have mine right here. Upload this. Then here you select the segment that you want to use. So you confirm the cropping. Now we click on generate. And now our AI talking avatar will look like this. You know, Dan, one day I will come for your job. And thanks to your videos, that day comes fast. Okay, so that is quite cool. From just one image, we're able to create a complete consistent AI talking avatar. Now, what you can do as well is you can create your own consistent avatar based on a text prompt. And I actually tried to do this by turning myself into a Pixar style consistent character. So I did that by entering a description. Now the way I did this was through ChatGPT. So I uploaded this image. Co coincidentally, I'm wearing the same shirt. And I just said, describe this person as an AI prompt. Don't include the background, just the person. So then it gave me this prompt and I just copied it. I put it into here. I named it Dan Pixar. Let me do two as I already made one myself. And then for the style, I did Pixar and now it will generate a preview. So based on that prompt, it will make a preview on what you have put in there. So here we have a similar looking character. So these, all of these are quite good. I actually like this one. And now you can generate that character again. It will cost you 2000 credits, but I won't do it right now as I've already done mine. So I have my character right here. And with that character, you can put yourself in different situations. So for example, right here, I'm just walking on the street different angles so yeah that is pretty cool also now besides that soon you will be able to create multiple different consistent characters into one scene i will make a video on that once this feature is released so stay tuned for that and if you want to try this out yourself then click the link in the description down below i'm very curious to see what you can create with this so let me know if you made something cool with it other than that if you want to know how you can make cinematic ai videos then click the video that's on the screen right now and i will teach you how to make the best cinematic videos using ai